Hi friends, Alaska Crafty Gal Victoria here. Today I want to show you some bags that I've made and some zippered pouches. I don't know all the measurements offhand, but I will put it on the screen when I go to edit this video. So the first few things I want to show you is I had made another red scrappy zipper pouch. So I made another one of these. I sold my previous one, so I I started using more red scraps and of course it looks very similar, but it is different. I have my zipper tabs on the top and then I just lined it in this red solid color. So I did make another one of these. I love working with red scraps. I love working with all my scraps. So I made another one of those. And then because I have so many cute little buttons and things like that, I had made, now I don't know if I showed you guys this. This is a, I don't think I did. I know I made a B one and I sold that one, but this one is so stinking cute. It's the gnomes with flowers. Look at how cute that is. And it's just using green scraps, just strips, all different widths and sizes. So I made this zipper pouch. Like I said, I'll put the dimensions here when I go to edit the video because I, I had it written down and I can't find the paper I had it written down on. But then I made this super cute purple one. Now these were made, these zipper pouches were made a little while ago. Um, the zipper tabs up top made with different widths and the little sheep and the little flowers. And these are all in purples. And then I got this really cool lining fabric on the inside. I just love it. I think it looks super cool. It just goes so well with it, but all made out of scraps and it's all purples. So I made that zipper pouch, but then I made some bags and I kept wanting to use my two and a half inch squares because I love working with little bits and I have a bunch of two and a half inch squares and I wanted to use some of those up because what's the point of cutting them and keeping them if you're not ever going to use them. But before I get to that, I made some of like this. I just had this strip of fabric with these super cute kitty cats, just all different cats. And I paired it with this, this gray. I just like it because it's, and it's all quilted. It's quilted here, um, not, and it's just straight line stitching. It's quilted throughout here and then quilted on the bottom. It's all of these, I believe are a, this one might be, I think it's a four inch, but the gusset is all boxed. And it just turned out really cute. The only difference in these bags, oh, and I lined it in this gray, light gray fabric. The only difference is this doesn't have a closure. I decided not to do the snap closure on this one, on several of these, but the handles are quilted. Just some straight line stitching. It just, I feel, makes the bag more durable, the handles more durable. Hold on, I gotta switch out my microphone because my thing is on a stand and it keeps, if I bump the cord, it look it, it makes it wonky and that's annoying. So I'll be right back. Okay, hopefully this is a little bit better. All right, so now here's the rest of my two and a half inch square bags. So I made this one with using all yellow fabric scraps, two and a half inch squares, like I said, and they, I believe these ones all have, this one might be a three inch box bottom gusset, but there's the bottom of the bag and just utilizing all my scraps. I just been having so much fun. I like all different color scrappy project bags too. So I'm going to start making more of those, but these, I had so many of like a certain color that I decided to pair them together. And then inside is just yellow and dimensions will be listed here, but there's this one. All of these are available and for sale. So if anyone is interested, just email me. My email is in every description box below. It's always listed at the very end of the description. And then I made this one and it's utilizing all aquas and teals and blues. Just 
just love this fabric. I did some wavy line um, quilting on this one and some straight line stitching on the top and the bottom. And then I lined it with this color. But they're nice heavy duty bags. They'll stand up on their own. So if you've got a project in it, you just set it beside you, open it up and work right out of it. Nice long straps. You can fit it up to your elbow carry it around, have it in the car, waiting in line to pick up the kids or grandkids from school, <laughs> doctor's office, whatever. So I have that aqua tealy blue one. And then I made this orange one with all my orange two and a half inch squares. Just all kinds of fun prints. They're all boxed bottom. And I lined this one in a light orange And this one is quilted with the wavy lines and then straight stitching on the top and the bottom. Then I have this green one using different shades of olive green and light green. Just all different scraps. I love making bags. I had so much fun working on these. These took a little bit longer just because I wanted the to match up really nicely. So this one has the wavy line stitching through the squares and then straight stitching on the top and the bottom. Again, boxed bottom. And I lined it in this light green here. So I have this one. And then, of course, I have this one here, the red. I had more red scraps, like I said, I had a bunch. So instead of having it all be the whole bag be scrappy like this, I made it like this with the strips. I, I love doing it like this, the piecing with the gray. I like how gray kind of mutes the patchiness of it. It just I'm always trying different things, so I just like the way this, and this is all, I believe, yeah, straight line stitching all the way through, and a boxed bottom, and red on the inside. So I've got all these bags I made, all available, all ready to find a new home. So if anybody is interested in these, like I said, just send me an email, and I will be happy to quote you a price. <coughs> And then this one, I made this one. It's got this little wavy pattern on the bottom. It's got these pretty floral prints on top. It's so windy. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it is so windy outside today. Same handles to match the bottom. Now these, all these bags have like the thicker fusible fleece inside. This does not, it does have interfacing, but it's just a thinner, a thinner interfacing so it's kind of like a flimsy bag it folds up really nice to, for storage but then it's just got this super cute light pink -a dot lining inside and I don't mind using a little bit of a darker color on bags like this because it's not so deep that you won't see what's down in the bottom there it's got this nice four inch boxed bottom and there you have it just like that then I made this one. This one has the fusible fleece and it's a little bit of a thicker, but this one is the only one I did with a closure. But I had these scraps and I made this bag. And look at all those fun prints. Look at all that. And I paired it with this limey green color. It's like a, a mottled limey green color. It's real pretty. Little pink snap closure, the handles, and then of course utilizing more scraps on the inside of the flap and then pink lining. And this one I believe is a four inch box bottom as well. And handles. These are nice long handles, guys. I mean, this one I can pretty much carry on my shoulder if I wanted to. But there's that one. 
And then of course you guys all saw my video where I made this bag with the purples and the teals and the different size strips, the polka dots, the nice batik handles. This one has a snap closure as well. And the scrap on the inside. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time showing this one because you've already just seen it. It's got a nice pocket inside. It's like a nice quilted pocket, purple. All these bags are available, ready to find a new home. So if you're interested in any of these bags, just, like I said, send me an email. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, guys. Look at that beautiful purple. I am working on more bags. I have a purple scrap bag that is going to be made in this style with purple, all purple, all different shades of purple. I'm almost done with that one. I have another red scrappy one and then I have some other just bigger pieces of fabric. I also have one pink one left from my last sewing video. And I haven't put the drawstrings in these ones yet, but I still have the two cowboy print with the topper. And I'll put the drawstrings in when I go to ship it. And it's just got the light tan on the inside. Cute little cowboys. I still have two, those two. And I have one crane bag left. I've got the one crane bag, drawstring bag. And it's got this really pretty polka dot on the inside. And I still have this um, quilted patchwork bag that I made with the, oops, it's got a loose string, let me thready. And then I still have this quilted bag that I made with all the pretty blues and creams and whites. And it's a quilted one, four inch boxed bottom got that cute little decorative stitch across there it's got the cute little decorative stitch across the snap closure and on the inside is blue polka dots so these are all available folks so if anybody's interested just like I said send me an email and I'll get them off in the mail to you and I appreciate you watching I appreciate you joining me here and seeing what I've been sewing on. I love sewing so much. I, I am not joking. I probably have 40 pieces of fabric picked out, the lining, the outside, bottoms, tops, in pockets, all that. I have so much fabric laying out on my ironing board right now, getting ready to be cut and interfaced and prepped, handles, all that good stuff to make more bags. All right, guys, thank you for joining me. Thank you for spending a little bit of your time with me. I hope you enjoyed seeing the bags that I've been sewing on. And until the next video, this is Alaska Crafty Gal Victoria here. Bye-bye. <music>